Hi Church, it's Amy Richards here. Um, I'm from Manchester campus and me and my husband have the joy of being the youth pastors at our campus, which we absolutely love. And I just wanted to take some time today to encourage you around our theme, who Jesus is, and with the truth that Jesus is our advocate. In 1 John 2 verses 1 to 6, it talks about the fact that Jesus is our advocate. And I'd really encourage you today to take five minutes to just spend some time reading over this, those scriptures and really ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you through them. But um, I was thinking about what the word advocate meant. And um, sometimes you have your own thoughts about what a word means, but I always like to go to the dictionary definition to kind of get some clarity on what the dictionary says. So um, I googled advocate and I'm not, not going to lie, there's, good, there's some questionable definitions that came up. But one of the definitions that really stood out to me was that an advocate publicly recommends or supports. And it made me think over the last Easter weekend that we have had um, some time to really focus and hone in on the public display of God's love for us. The very public death that Jesus did on the cross, the fact that he died and took our sin and shame, the punishment that we should have deserved, that he took that on the cross with him but then he rose again in victory so that we could have access to a relationship with God and a full and victorious life and I don't know about you but I'm so thankful for what Jesus did for me even before I even knew him and the grace that he's shown me time after time even when I mess up and don't deserve it that God turns up and I'm thankful that if I ask Jesus for forgiveness that he's got my back and I was meditating and kind of contemplating over, over this revelation. And I just realised that when you realise that Jesus is your advocate, that it changes you. Because the weight of, of what Jesus did and continues to do on our behalf changes your heart posture. It's less about reading God's word or, or applying God's word to gain approval. And it's more about being obedient to him, to give him thanks and praise because of your heart is so towards and thankful for what he's done. And I just wanted to encourage you today and, and really ask you the question. Firstly, what is your heart posture towards God? Is your heart open to him? Are you letting the Holy Spirit speak? Are you carrying maybe hurt or shame that you didn't even realise that, that it was there? And with the revelation that Jesus is your advocate, how does that change your approach to God? Does it make you more open to him? Does it kind of mean that you can open up about the things that really hurt you or you really struggle with? But knowing that Jesus has got your back, how does that change you? So I just want to pray for you today, just encourage you and say that Jesus is your advocate, that he's got your back, that he has paid the price that you could have never paid so that you can live in victory and freedom and really believe that as we take that revelation into our hearts that it changes something about us. Father God, I thank you for everyone watching this devotion today. I just pray that Holy Spirit, would you just be with them wherever they are? and that you would just speak to their hearts, that they would have hearts open to listening to you and being in relationship with you, and that you would just bring freedom in our lives today in a whole new way as we posture our hearts to you again. Amen. Have a great day, church. Bye.